This is an operational overview of the Impact 498 Raptor blaster. Um, of, starting up here front with the blaster, it features a set of sling points at the bottom of the barrel area or the shroud area and the bottom of the handle that you can attach and sling. And then moving back, the blaster has five Picatinny style rails on it. So you can attach different attachments as uh, you would see fit um, from, a, from a Picatinny. My favorite being the, um, a nice uh, uh, reflex sight on the top. Um, continuing to go back uh, across the blaster here, um, you see the magwell. This blaster takes Talon magazines. And to, uh, and to operate this, the Talon bl uh, mag just slides into uh, the magwell and then clicks. And then to remove it, you squeeze the um, release lever in and then pull the bag back, straight back out. And also it has uh, the same function, a mag storage area back in the stock with the same kind of release mechanism. Slide it in, slide that back out. Um, back to the stock area, this is an adjustable stock so that you can uh, set the distance that you want. So you can slide it out to here, which you know, pretty far back, and you can slide it all the way in. And then once you get it set to the position where you would like it, uh, there's a knob here that twists, and you twist this knob clockwise, and it tightens up against the, um, the buffer tube rail. And so you tighten that down, crank that down pretty tight, and then that stock is in place, and it, it doesn't move. Uh, on the top of the blaster here is the battery compartment. To, to get to the battery compartment, you undo the thumb screw, and it pulls apart, and it's got a little latch and a hook right here on the battery cover. You can see that right there. And that slots in right here. So if you want to put to assemble, put the battery cover into place, drops right in, and then the screw attaches attaches back here. Uh, the battery, I've got a, a pretty large one in there, but it's got an XT60 connector. Plug it in. There's plenty of room in there for all different uh, sizes of battery. Uh, you need a, And you need a pretty beefy battery, something that can uh, burst around 150 uh, amp um, amps at things. So, you know, looking at the Turnigy graphene, um, the graphene Panther is one I really like. Um, and that's probably going to be one of the recommended bla uh, for this blaster. But to put the battery cover back on here, and then there's there slots right into the screw hole, and then you tighten that back up by turning it clockwise. Uh, the final thing on this side of the blaster is the power switch. Now this disables uh, both the flywheels, uh, the electronics, and the uh, solenoid that acts as a pusher within this blaster. So to operate the blaster to, to f fire, you would then select that, move that into the on position, and then as we'll see on the other side of the blaster, um, now your electronics are on, you can see uh, the flashing indicator for the, um, the MOSFET that drives uh, the solenoid for the full auto mode. So then again, continuing on with controls, you have uh, a selector switch here that controls whether or not you are in semi-auto mode or in full auto mode. So that's your select fire. Forward is semi-auto with one bar, back is full auto with the other one. You can also adjust the rate of fire for uh, this blaster with the electronics. And I'm gonna pull this up here a little bit closer so you guys get a little better look at the uh, control screen here. I apologize, this is gonna move around a little bit. But uh, if you want to decrease the rate of fire or increase, you know, down here, 11, 10, 9. That number on the top tells you how many darts per second that it's firing. Uh, and that can go all the way down to 1. Actually, it would go all the way down to 0. If you put it in 0, then full auto doesn't function. Now, this blaster uh, specs out at 12 darts per second. So we'll pop this up to 12. You can set it higher, but sometimes it skips. Uh, on a full battery charge, you might be able to get 15 out of it, uh, but the, the recommended setting is no more than 12 darts per second on the, on the solenoid. Uh, the 50 here is just a tuning setting uh, based on the spring load of the solenoid. Uh, generally, that's the percentage um, 
uh, time that the uh, solenoid is engaged. Generally, it's set at 50 or somewhere around 50. You may see anywhere from 40 to 65 uh, on your blaster when it comes, but 50 is kind of the, the general average uh, setting. So finally, uh, from a functional standpoint on here, to fire the blaster, once the mag is in, you've got a rev trigger and a uh, trigger that actuates the solenoid. So the rev trigger, and I'm going to not pull this here because it's I don't want to burn anybody, break anybody's <laughs> eardrums, but that will fire, that will engage all six flywheels in the sextant system. And then once that's engaged, the main trigger will then engage the solenoid based on whether you're in uh, semi, full auto, and then based on uh, the controls that you've got uh, specified there. Now, the main trigger is slaved to the rev trigger so that you cannot engage the solenoid unless you've engaged your rev trigger. And your, so when your rev trigger is down, then you can fire. That, that kind of stops you from pushing a dart into flywheels that aren't, aren't moving. It's kind of a little bit of a safety feature on here. Uh, so that's an overview of the blaster itself, or the function of the, of the blaster itself. One other thing I want to go over is this blaster comes with a dart cutting jig. And I'm going to uh, slide the blaster off to the side here, and I'm gonna, we're going to zoom in on this, on this jig a little bit. Okay, so the reason this comes uh, with a dart cutting jig is because the optimal dart is a cut down AccuFake. Uh, and I like having them a little bit longer. Your Talon mags will accept darts comfortably up to a 40 millimeter length, where your typical short dart is 30 millimeters in length. So this jig here has two cutting slots in it. The first one is for a 36 millimeter dart. And the second one is for a 40 millimeter dart. Now, the blaster will shoot either. It'll shoot anything off the shelf. You can get worker darts. You can get stuff on those. As long as it doesn't have a solid tip, a hard tip on it, um, it'll work uh, just fine within the blaster. But those are all 36-inch darts. So this comes with a an additional um, cutting line to give, so that you can cut your own 40 millimeter darts. So in order to do that, first thing you do is you take a pack of 10 darts, and I've got some AccuFakes here, and you just slide them into these slots like so. And they fit. They're not a tight fit. It's, it's a loose fit, but it's a comfortable fit. Um, and I'm going to stumble here as I'm sticking them in because I'm trying to get it under the camera. But um, nonetheless, they go in very easily, slide into those little teardrop-shaped uh, sections. And then you've got, um, you can see that the darts are loaded. So I'm going to cut these to 40 mil. Uh, I like the 40 mil. Again, I think they, they perform just a little bit better and they fit nicely within the mag. So you want to make sure then that your darts are all um, at uh, the very front. And then I'm going to hold the jig like this when I'm cutting. Uh, I want to be very careful because I'm using... Uh, Typical hobby knife, but it's got a very sharp blade. You want a very sharp blade on this because you want it to cut uh, the foam. Make sure you get it about at a, a 75 degree angle and just pull it through. And at that point, you now have pulled all of the, uh, the, the length of the darts off. And if you want to save those and re-glue a tip to them or something, you are more than welcome to. And then to get the darts out of the jig, again, with a loose hit, you just turn it up, shake it sometimes, and the darts come right out. So that's an overview of the operation of the blaster and uh, of operation, uh, how you use the uh, dart jig uh, to get the uh, 20, uh, your, to get your uh, 40 mil or your 36 mil uh, darts that you want to shoot through the blaster. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, comments on how uh, this blaster works, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.